Hey guys, I'm seated here with Mr. Manny Pacquiao himself. He's got a big fight coming up in a couple months, so we decided to just chat with him a little bit. Now, it's your first fight here in Malaysia. Um, why, why Malaysia? I chose Malaysia because uh, it's a close country for, uh, in, in the Philippines mm -hmm. and also part of Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, what can Malaysian public expect from this fight? Um, they have to expect a good fight. Um, mm -hmm. They're gonna love it, and uh, it's been a long time that uh, there's no uh, big match here yeah. in, in Malaysia. So since um, 1975. So uh, this this is the big privilege, and to, to the fans of boxing to watch this this big fight. Nice. I can't wait myself. Um, but you're actually coming off a loss against Jeff Horn. Do you see this as a redemption fight for you? Well, um, I can say. I cannot use the um, word redemption, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have to, to get the belt and to win the fight um, mm -hmm. convincingly and make the, people, the, mm -hmm. the fans happy. Mm -hmm. And apart from this being uh, a welterweight title match, is there any other reason that you chose to fight against Lucas Matisse? I chose to uh, fight against uh, Lucas Matisse because of his style. Uh, we know if we are talking about boxing, boxing is more... Uh, we talk about boxing is punching, mm. so that's how we entertain people. That's how we uh, get the fans excited. Uh, we in terms of of, uh, of the fight. So Matisse's style is, is very uh, uh, similar my, to my style. So uh, I believe that we can create more action in the ring. Nice. And speaking of his style, he really is a, a bit of a knockout artist. I mean, he's got 36 KOs and 30, 39 wins. Um, what's your game plan going into this fight? What part of your strategy should he be worried about? My strategy is uh, just um, this not, not only two or three strategy, but mm -hmm. I have a lot of strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on uh, what his style in, in the ring. I can, I can easily adjust it. Right. Right, and he's actually been quoted saying this about you. He says, he's not been the same fighter since he was knocked out by Juan Manuel Marquez in 2012. Now, since that fight, you, fight you've gone on to beat Timothy Bradley and Chris Allegri. So, do you think his assessment is unfair? Um, That's, um, I cannot respond to that um, and say, uh, but uh, what I'm trying to do is to prove to the people, to the fans of boxing, that uh, Manny Pacquiao's career is not done yet. Yeah. And it, I'm still there, um, and that's why I, I have I have to prove this 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 fight. Now you are not training with your longtime trainer Freddie Roach anymore. Uh, has has there been any changes with your training regime? Um, there's no changes of my training regime. Mm -hmm. um, Boo Boy. I and Freddy Roach were working together since uh, 2001, mm -hmm. and Bubuy working with me uh, since when we started in boxing. So mm -hmm. um, Bubuy knows about what we're gonna do in training, and uh, there's no difference. But but talking about Freddy, um, yeah. we have a good relation relationship, and yeah. we're like a family. And now uh, I'm not closing the door uh, for uh, Freddy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to. Uh, mit, misinterpret that right. by the fans that uh, kicking out Freddy. No, I'm not right. kicking out Freddy, but just giving uh, Buboy a chance and opportunity to to be the head coach mm -hmm. in this fight. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, um, you also serve as a senator back in your home country. How do you manage all of your duties and juggle all of that? Being a politician and being a boxer, what's that like? Being being a politician is not, uh, and being a, a, a boxer and other things, uh, it's not easy. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. But you have to have, uh, um, you have to manage your time. You have to um, work hard and mm. and discipline. Now you've said multiple times that this is not going to be your last fight. How much fight does Manny Pacquiao have left in him? <laughs> uh, couple more more fights. Okay. Nice. Well, we'll be looking forward to it for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.